you got to hold the plant and pull. Otherwise, you'll pull the plant out, and then we won't get any more of that kind of bean. From that. We're going to talk about freezing green beans. I have made the executive decision that I'm not going to blanch my green beans. What did I just say? I've put up many a green bean in my life, but I've never done it with four young children, and I'm feeling completely overwhelmed with freezing or canning these beans because guess what it's time to go pick them again and guess what i never finished picking them to begin with so i'm not going to blanch them now you may think that this is crazy for those of you that don't know blanching is whenever you take a fruit or vegetable and you quickly okay i'm not sure where i left off there anyway Blanching is something that you do to prepare fruits and vegetables for freezing. And what it does, or what it is, is you bring a pot of water to a boil, you throw a small batch of the prepared beans or corn or whatever into the boiling water for so many minutes depending on what you're blanching. You quickly remove it, put it in ice cold water, and then you put it in freezer bags. What this does is it slows down um, the enzyme action on the fruits and vegetables. It's supposed to make your fruits and vegetables more nutritious, have a better color, and have a better flavor. I went online to remember the time to refresh my memory about how long to blanch green beans for, and I came across quite a few interesting articles about mamas out there that aren't blanching their green beans and they're having perfect results. So the main one that I found was the Prairie Homestead. If you don't know who she is, she has an amazing blog with tons of great homesteading tips and I go to her site regularly for homesteading tips. All that to say, since I've never done this before, I can't give you my expert advice or opinion about it, but I consider her advice pretty expert, so I'm going to go with it. We're not going to blanch these beans. There's two ways you can do this. Wash your beans really good, put them on cookie sheets, stick them in the freezer, and then put them in the freezer bags. That to me, once again, is just a whole nother step, and I'm just not gonna do that. My beans are very clean. They're pretty much prepared. I'm just gonna cut them into the size that I want them to be in, and stick them in the freezer bags. So I'm, I know a lot of you are gonna tell me that I'm crazy, that I'm ruining my harvest, but you know what? I actually have a friend who did this as well. I was just talking to her about it yesterday and she says she did it last year and all of her beans turned out perfect. Now I know in homesteading, it's not really good to take shortcuts. And I know that oftentimes shortcuts just lead to more work. But shortcuts from people who are seasoned homesteaders and who have a bunch of little kids and they get it and they understand, I will take that kind of advice and that kind of shortcut any day of the week. And there you have it. My first experiment with not blanching my green beans are going into the freezer right now. Wish me luck. I think you guys should try this out and you should really check out Prairie Homestead's blog post on this method. There we go. Do you like those?